Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Chef Rambo. Today I'm gonna to be making deep fried Oreos, the same kind that y'all are gonna get at the fair. So we're gonna need pancake mix, one egg, Oreos, Hershey's chocolate syrup, canola oil, whole milk, confectioner sugar, and that's it, you guys. This is all you're gonna need. So I have about three and a half to four cups of the pancake mix in a bowl, and I am just gonna add one large egg and I'm gonna also add in about one cup of whole milk. I am trying to make sure that all of my pancake mix and my egg and my milk gets completely mixed in the correct way. I don't want, I don't be wanting that lumpy dumpy stuff, y'all. I want our batter to be a silk and smooth consistency. So that way when I go to dip the Oreos in the pancake batter, it's perfect. So all I'm doing is just stirring everything up, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm using that elbow grease, child, and I'm going to town. I am going to work because we are trying to make some delicious deep fried Oreos just like we would get at the fair or any of those fancy restaurants, you guys. Okay, so this is about the consistency that I like my batter to be. It's a little lumpy, but I can deal with it, y'all. So if you guys want your batter a little bit thinner or thicker, you can make it however you like. So we are ready to fry. So all I'm gonna do is just take the Oreo and dip it on the front, dip it on the back, and then shake off the excess. After I shake off the excess, I'm gonna go ahead and place my Oreos in my pan. And we're gonna let these cook anywhere from two to three minutes. Sometimes if you go to the restaurant or if you were to get this at like the fair or something, your, your Oreo, like they're gonna be a little bit lighter in color. I like mine a little bit darker. So if you guys wanted that light color, I would probably cook mine for about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds. But I definitely cooked mine for about three minutes. So that's why mine are like a dark golden brown reddish color because I like my Oreos to be, I like them to have some color, y'all. So once I get about five in the pan, I am gonna go ahead and start flipping them. You guys can add more if you like, but I do not wanna overcrowd my pan. I do not wanna have certain Oreos that cook first. I don't wanna have all that inconsistency. So we just gonna do it this way, y'all. So see how they're kinda brown a little bit? They kinda look like um, fried biscuits or like fried donuts or something. Like you know how like when you get like little Pillsbury a uh, biscuit can and you want to make some donuts and you put them in oil and add cinnamon sugar that's kind of what they look like but i like how they look this is how i like mine to look so this is perfect so like i said after about two to three minutes we can take these babies out because we do not want them to get overcooked and crunchy we want these to be crunchy on the outside but we want them to be nice and soft and tender on the inside so once we get them all Taking out, we can put them on a paper towel to drain. And all we're gonna do is continue to repeat the process. Nothing fancy. Sorry y'all, I don't have my nails on today, but I'm getting through these, okay? So it's so important to shake off the excess. I tried to make these without shaking off the excess pancake batter, and it was a freaking mess. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to shake it off, but just go ahead and make sure you guys do it. And as you're putting them in, some of the other ones are gonna get done a little bit faster. So just make sure that you flip them when they start to get dark on the bottom. That way they don't overcook. Because we're putting them in at different times, so some of them are gonna be done before others, okay? So as long as you guys are flipping, and making sure that the bottom, you see how at the bottom they're like getting crunchy, like you can see like the, they're getting darker and stuff and they look like they have like a crispy texture. We need to flip. So yeah, that's how they should look. Nice and crispy. They have like a dark golden brown color. Once they get like that, we can go ahead and remove them and put them on our paper towel with our other ones. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful those look. We do not have to go to the fair to get these. We can make them at home. So it's very important when you guys do this, you move quick 
because I'm telling you, all it takes is like a split second for these babies to be burnt and crispy and crunchy. And I do not want y'all to be wasting y'all money, throwing away good quality food, all because you don't know how to make them or you're not really sure how quick they fry. So I'm telling y'all now, please don't walk away from these. It, all it takes is probably about a minute or two and these babies will be burnt. So please make sure when you're making this, guys, you stay your butt in the kitchen and you don't walk away. Mm -mm -mm, look at them. So perfect. And I was also going to say, if you guys wanted to make this for like, maybe like ladies night or like fellas night, if you guys are having baby showers, graduation parties, um, open houses, any of that good stuff, this is going to be perfect. These are so sweet. So even if you were to like maybe pass these out, you could only, you could probably only give people maybe like two or three of them because they're so rich. So when you make this, you are definitely not going to need to make a whole lot. I have a family of five and I probably made like 10 of them, 10, 12 of them. So it worked out perfect. So we're done frying our Oreos, you guys. This is how they should look. I have them on my paper towel, drying off, trying to take off that excess oil. And now, baby, we finna put on that confection of sugar right on top, just like they do it at the fair, okay now? So every crevice and corner is gonna get coated with this delicious powdered sugar. Mm -mm -mm. Why do them look that good? Why do they look so good, y'all? I'm so happy. Y'all know I be proud of my work, but I am happy today, y'all, because these was good. This is just the sugar rush that I needed to top off my weekend on this lovely Friday. And I'm going to go in here with some of that Hershey syrup right on top to be fancy, honey. And look at that. Deep fried Oreos, Chef Rambo style. If you guys like this video, make sure you like it, you comment, you subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you turn on that notification bell so y'all can get notified every time Chef Rambo makes videos. Okay now, bye y'all.